Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm all alone today. Keisha was gonna do this video with me, but she fell asleep. This is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. I went and spent some coin at Dollar Tree. This is gonna be huge. So I'm just gonna jump right in. I've got tons of stuff um, from DIY supplies to some Easter decor to some regular home decor and just adds and ends and so it's gonna be probably all over the place so we're just gonna get started i apologize for it being so dark in here it's like 10 30 at night i found this adorable ponytail holder with the bow on it it's like um blush colored and for those of you that don't know i'm obsessed with bows i'm surprised i don't have one in right now i've been running errands all day so excuse the appearance I found a ton of these Yes To masks, and these are super expensive. I work at Walgreens, and these are like $6, so I can't believe they were there for a dollar. But I've got this two-step one. This one is Yes To Grapefruit, and it comes with a, um, a facial scrub and then a brightening peel. And then I got this Yes To Coconut. This is just a moisturizing mask. And then I found this one. This is Yes to Tomatoes. This one says it's a yin and yang double masking kit for detox and hydrating. So it comes with a detoxifying and hydrating white charcoal mud mask. Oh, that's interesting. White charcoal. Hmm. And then it also comes with a detoxifying regular charcoal mud mask. And then I found Yes to Super Blueberries um, Skin Recharging. This is a three-in-one mask, scrub, and cleanser. And then I found Yes to Coconut uh, Moisturizing Mud Mask. And then I found Yes to Tomatoes Detoxifying Charcoal Paper Mask. Um, I found these super cute barrettes. They're like white pearl. Um, but those are so cute. These are also super expensive. I can't believe I found these there. And hopefully these aren't like cheap quality. Hopefully they work pretty good. But um, I found the Jade Roller. Um, this is from Sassy and Chic. Which I know a lot of like the beauty products at Dollar Tree are from that brand. But I got the Eye Roller and then the regular um, Jade Roller. So super excited about those. I found these. I've never seen these there before either. These are dryer balls. These just help fluff out your clothes. It says... Um, clothes come out soft and fluffy cuts down on ironing and less wrinkles and they're reusable and then you can also drop like essential oils or something on these and it'll make your clothes smell good this is boring I grabbed one of these little scrubber brushes because we needed a new one I grabbed one of these little mini um, broom and dust pans because we have two bunnies and this would just help um, with you know little bunny messes and then I grabbed this um, this is from Floral Gardens. It's a scented floral spray and it's in the scent Morning Rose and this is literally to spray your artificial flowers so that they smell real um, but it smells so good I might just use it for like a room spray. It really smells like roses. It smells really really good for a dollar. And then I got two little trash buckets, one for the bathroom and one for Acacia's room. And then I got pink um, bags for Acacia's because she insisted on having pink garbage bags for hers. Um, I grabbed these two um, spatulas. Cooking Concepts, I guess, is the brand. I've never heard of it, um, but they do carry a lot of that brand there. But, um, yeah, I grabbed two of those. Um, I grabbed a little thing of this spackling for my DIYs to fill in, like, holes and stuff. These are so flippin' adorable. I seen these in another YouTube video, and I had to hurry up and go see if they had them at my Dollar Tree. They had one left of each one, but they're these little candles, um, and they smell amazing. I do not like Dollar Tree candles at all, but these smell so good. This one is in the scent Ice Cream, and it's got little ice cream cones all over it. This one's in the scent um, macaroons, and it's got little macaroons all over it. This one's in the scent cupcake, and it's got cupcakes on it. And this one's in the scent donut, and it's got little donuts on it. But I love all these pastel colors, and these just fit my aesthetic so flippin' perfectly. I love these so much. I'm so glad I found these. And there was only one of each scent left. I got my doggies some toys. I got these two for Tink because she loves these. The longer ones, she loves those. And then I got this one for Ruger. 
And then I got these two for Ruger. These are really strong, but he will still have this torn up in a day. Tinkerbells will last her months, but Ruger chew his up in a day. I grabbed these two hair products. This one is from Salon Selective. I've been getting this for years. I love this. It works great for all of our hair, especially um, Kyler and Acacia's hair and my hair. This is the Salon Selectives. This is damage repair with argan oil and it's got vitamin E and it's just a hair treatment but um, we just use it as like a leave-in conditioner it smells really really good and it works really good for a dollar this is literally my go-to like I like I said I've been using this for years and then this is something new that I haven't seen there this is from Shea Solutions and it's curl stretch cream and it moisturizes and strengthens to maximize curls and we're all curly headed it smells really really good so I'm gonna give this a try um, we have such a hard time finding products that help our curls stay you know smooth and bouncy instead of just like frizzing out um, Kyler and Acacia are both biracial so they've got like a coarser um, texture to their curls so hopefully this will um, this will work really good for them and it smells really really good then this is also boring I just got a couple packs of cotton rounds for my toner I got a set of um, measuring spoons because I needed some, and these are from Betty Crocker, so for a dollar, you can't beat that. I grabbed um, a dog leash for Tinkerbell. I grabbed this um, thing to hang by the front door for keys, and it says keys on it. I don't like the color, so I'm probably going to paint it like an um, off-white or, um, I don't know, I'm definitely going to paint it though, so there's that. Oh, I apologize for the setup, too. We're moving Acacia's room around. Um, I don't know if you know, but we film all of our videos in Acacia's room, and we're in the process of moving everything around. So this background, this is just temporary. So, um, And then Acacia picked this out for her room. It's pastel pink. It's so adorable, and it's a wax melt burner. And then she got some um, unscented tea light candles to go inside of it and she also my aunt gave her some lilac scented wax melts and they smell exactly like a lilac bush they smell so good i found this nifty little thing i'm always looking for different things to pack my lunches in for work and i found this cool thing so you can put two things in it and it all um you know goes together but you can put two different things in here and then it also comes with this little dipping container with a lid on it and then it all just fits together so I thought that was really cool for a dollar and I love the color this is the color that I have sporadically throughout my house like this vintage Tiffany blue color and then I also got me a soup bowl I already had one but I got another one we sell these same exact things at my work for like seven dollars and this was a dollar like it's legit the same exact thing so you can't beat that for a dollar. Again, with the Tiffany blue color. More boring stuff. I got two powders. We put these um, on our mattresses underneath our sheets. Makes our bed smell all good. These, I can't believe, were there. I've never seen these. I've never seen these in a haul, and I've never seen these at my Dollar Tree. But I got these two doormats. These are super, super thick and, like, really good quality. And they're so cute. They're like the... Um, farmhouse country look that I love this one says home with a heart I love it and then this one will probably go outside and it's black and it says our nest and I love these these are such good quality for a dollar like I can't believe these were there they're not that cheap material that and neither is this side like it's not the cheap stuff that Dollar Tree um, mats are usually made out of and then I got two sets of Tupperware bowls these are both from Betty Crocker the round ones come with two and the square ones come with two. I got a ton of floral because I'm um, gonna do some DIYs for my front porch. I'll probably film those. I got a bunch of floral foam. I got three of these smaller rectangle ones and then I got two of the longer rectangle ones. I mean, I just cut them up anyway, so it doesn't even really matter. But I got these two hanging baskets for both sides of my deck and they're green i don't like the color so i'm definitely going to paint them i was thinking of like an antique white color white or maybe a pastel pink and do them on um, both sides of my deck but for these baskets i got these i got a ton of them so so many of them so i got these that i'll split in two for each one and then i'm also going to put some of these in with it and so I'm gonna make two hanging baskets with those florals. And then I got this. 
This it's just a galvanized bucket. Um, and then for that one, I was thinking of actually for both of these buckets, I think I'm just gonna um, make the same flower arrangement and split it up. But I got this pretty um, bucket with the same color that I like. And then these are the rest of the flowers that I got. I got these ones, these pretty purple ones. These ones look so real, these roses. They're like a, um, off white with a very light pink center. And then, oh, there's another purple one. And then I got these pink ones. So I'm gonna make a bunch of floral arrangements out of all those, spray them with my rose scented spray. I found this Easter um, door hanger. This is so cute. And I have one of these for like every holiday. This is so cute with the pastel colors. It's got pastel yellow, pink, blue, and then the pretty pink bow, and then the hanger is shaped like an egg. And so once I got up to the register, I realized that, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like um, a dirt stain on it. And there was a ton of these, and I was only in the store for maybe 45 minutes. And so I went back to grab another one, and they were all gone that quickly. So I'm gonna have to try to, um, to clean that off, but how cute. And the bow is just a pastel pink with white polka dots. How cute is that? It's so cute. I grabbed these two Easter towels, not exactly pastel colors like I like, but I still thought they were cute. This one's just got a little um, bunny and a basket with some eggs, and then it says Happy Easter. I thought that was really cute. And then this one's just got different color Easter eggs all over it. Thought that was cute. And then I got this sign. I loved this sign. I was trying to find some signs to do my own DIYs with, but they really were really um, sparse on the signs. So I grabbed this one. I don't think I'm going to change it up much um, because I actually do like it. I hate sparkles though, especially from um, Dollar Tree because it just gets everywhere. But it's just cute. It says, we believe in the Easter Bunny and it's all pastel colors. And it's got a little um, burlap bow. And I just really don't like the sparkles. So I don't know if maybe I'll try to sand that off. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty cute. This color right here is probably the only color I don't really like. But it's really pretty. There we go. And then Acacia grabbed a few things. She grabbed this um, lip gloss with a little unicorn holder for her purse. She loves unicorns. She grabbed this for her room. It says Rainbow Chaser, and it's just another unicorn, and it's all sparkly. She loves sparkles and unicorns in pastel colors and girly stuff and vintage stuff. She's just like me. And then she grabbed another fan. These are so cute, and she tries to find pastel colors, and they're hard to find. All of their fans are usually really dark. It's just sparkly, and it's got the pastel blue, and then it's got like dark pink and dark blue and dark purple and gold. She loves gold too, so do I. So there's that. And then she got this sign for her room. It says Magical Dreams, and it's got the little kitty with the unicorn horn. So that's pretty cute. Then the last things that I got was I needed some more sponge brushes, so I got that. She also got this for her room. It's pastel blue. She loves rainbows too. Rainbows and unicorns are her favorite thing. And then it says over it, which is totally funny and it's totally acacia. And then I got this. These are rub-on transfers. And I got this one because it was literally the only one they had. And from all the videos that I've watched, I've um, come to the realization that rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree are pretty hard to find. So I grabbed this one and I just thought, the glare is real. Let's see if I can open it so there's not such a glare. But I definitely thought that I could incorporate this into some of my um, kitchen DIYs. I don't like everything that's on here, but I do like the forks and spoons. I do like the Bon Appetit. There's just some cute things on here. Where there's food, there's love. Love at first bite. Um, food is the ingredient that finds us together. One cannot think well, love well, sleep well. If one has not dined well, um, yeah, I probably won't use most of these, but I think I can make a sign or something with the spoons and forks. It's pretty cute. Um, I'll definitely use those eventually. And then I grabbed these gold letters. We want to do like her first name on one ribbon and then her middle name on the other ribbon. So that's what I got the gold stickers for. I thought it would be cute. Um, I don't know if it's going to go well with the pastel colors. So if not, um, we'll just use them for another DIY or something. We'll always be able to use them. But yeah. 
So that is that, and that is everything that I got from Dollar Tree, and I apologize for my little sidekick not being in this video. She will be in the next one. We went shopping at City Trends, so we're going to do a haul and a try-on for that. So that's it. If you guys liked this Dollar Tree haul, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll definitely do some more because your girl loves Dollar Tree. Who doesn't? And yeah, I guess that's it. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.